find the domain of this function. So this is a root function. And whenever you have a root function and you're looking for the domain, uh, because we have an even index, so if this number is even, this is called the index, you just take this and set it greater than or equal to zero, always. So again, whenever you're looking for the domain of a root function and you have an even index, just take whatever is here and set it greater than or equal to zero. So we have to solve um, this inequality. The easiest way to do it, or, or one way to do it rather, is to think about the graph of this function. If you were to let y be equal to 49 minus x squared, then the question becomes, when is it greater than or equal to zero? In other words, when is it above the x-axis? So what is the graph of this? Well, x squared is a parabola. Negative x squared is an upside down parabola. And this bad boy here is an upside down parabola shifted up by 49. So this is 49. And then here's this awesome graph like this. You'll notice that if you plug in seven and negative seven here, you get zero. So those are actually the x-intercepts of this graph. And so now we can look at the graph and answer the question, when is y greater than or equal to zero? For what values of x is it positive? Well, all of these x's here, right? And when is it equal to zero? At negative seven and seven. So the answer would be bracket negative seven comma seven. And that would be the final answer. This is a really interesting solution because we took the question of finding the domain of a root function. And remember, whenever it's even, you do this. And then we turned it into looking at the graph of a function. So it's kind of an interesting approach to a problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.